I'm absolutely fascinated by space. When I look up at the sky at night, I'm just very aware that we are specks on a rock in this massive universe. Space really is awesome. Clay Space makes satellites, really small satellites, satellites you can hold in your hand. The biggest turning point for the company was the launch of UCube One, which was our first satellite, which is a UK Space Agency mission. I'm very proud of UCube One. It was Scotland's first satellite, and it's been operating for well over a year now. It's now moved this from being a component supplier to a verified a full satellite supplier. Following on from UCube One, we have now taken on a few other really interesting projects. One of them being Picasso, which is a European Space Agency mission in collaboration with the Belgian Institute of Space and Aeronomy. It's the three U CubeSats, four kilograms, and the main payload on the spacecraft is a hyperspectral imager. The objective of the mission is to characterise our atmosphere. The Seahawk mission is a great example of how useful tiny spacecraft can be, and it's used specifically to image the health and state of our oceans which will be able to service a number of science and commercial applications from fisheries through to looking at water pollution. OuterNet is very different from our other projects in that it's a communications mission. From a technology point of view, these spacecraft are one kilogram. It's a one new CubeSat, it's a 10 centimetre cube. The objective of this mission is to make data available for free to everyone on the planet. What I believe we're going to be seeing is multiple applications that use constellations of hundreds of CubeSats. Mindful of this though is you don't want to just keep launching thousands of spacecraft into orbit because there is an issue with space debris and I believe in Clay Space our approach here is to, to be responsible about that. What we want to be able to do is to deorbit at the end of the mission. We've also invested um, over the last few years in deorbit technologies. So we have a deorbit sail which is quite a small sail but on a CubeSat it's enough to take a CubeSat from being say 25 years for it to naturally decay in orbit and re-enter, it would then deorbit within six months. In the future, CubeSats will be used everywhere. We are already talking about colonising the moon. There's talk of going to Mars. Imagine you set up your habitat on Mars and you want to communicate with other places on Mars. You would probably just launch constellations of CubeSats around the moon, around Mars and who knows, around Europa, around Saturn. You know, the, the applications are endless.